In this Debaco University video, we're going to go over how to set up a Venturi style, or what's commonly referred to as a Mazzy fertilizer injector for cannabis plant production. Ever wonder how to use a Venturi or Mazzy fertilizer injector for cannabis production? Well, this video here is for you. So let's get into some of the details. So first off, the method of operation. Well, chemicals are injected into a pressurized pipe using a Venturi principle. So here, basically, you have a large area, the restricted area, and that's the Venturi concept. The Venturi in injector is tapered, as we can see right here, uh, to constrict, which operates in the principle, the pressure drop accompanies the change in the velocity of the water as it passes through the constriction point. The pressure drop through the venturi uh, must be sufficient to create negative pressure, uh, which is essentially a vacuum to some degree, and as measured relative to the atmospheric pressure. With that result, that uh, pressure loss may cause it not to operate properly in systems that already have low pressure. Because you are going to, or these operate with the change in pressure, if you already have low pressure to begin with, this may not be the best option for you. Under those conditions, the fluid from the tank will flow into the injector. So we have that pressure difference, that vacuum, that negative pressure. It's going to start to pull some of this liquid up and inject it into the irrigation water. Most venturi injectors require at least 20% pressure differential to initiate this negative pressure. A full vacuum of 20 inches of mercury is obtained with a different pressure of 5% or more. And we could see here that also depending on the size of your irrigation, they make different sized venturi uh, operated injectors, typically called Mazzy injectors. Now this pressure drop is needed, so small venturi uh, can be used to inject small chemical flow rates to a relatively large mainline by shutting a portion of the flow through the injector. To assure that water will flow through the shunt, a pressure drop must occur in the main line, and our inlet and outlet sizes are the same, but there will be a pressure reduction. As a result, the injector is used around a point of restriction, such as a valve, orifice, or pressure regulator, or other device, which creates a differential pressure. So placement of this could also be important, just to ensure that it operates properly. Now, there are some additional components in here, gaskets and springs, also be mindful of, um, but overall, basically very minimal components. Now the Venturi advantage, so why would someone choose to operate uh, with this style, we can see that right here, is that it doesn't require external power to operate, that's a great advantage, does not really have any moving parts associated with it, has a long operational life expectancy, low probability of fa failure, both great things for growers, resistant to many chemicals due to the heavy plastic construction, requires minimal operator attention once it's set up, very low maintenance, Reduced cost, definitely compared to some other systems, and adaptable to new or existing systems, again, assuming sufficient pressure. So this is why these can be very popular uh, with many fertilizer injector systems. So when we're looking at the liquid levels, I mentioned venturi injectors come in various sizes and can be operated under different pressure conditions. The suction capac capacity or the injection rate, uh, head loss required, and working pressure range will depend on the model you specifically select. So do that research ahead of time. It is important to realize that suction capacity depends on the liquid level in the tank. And as the liquid level drops, the suction head uh, increases, resulting in a decreased injection rate. So there will be some inconsistencies, particularly if you're using a very thin but tall container. To avoid this problem, some manufacturers provide an additional small tank on the side to supply a supply tank. Their float valve maintains the fluid level relatively consistently. The fluid is injected from this additional tank. However, this may cause inconsistent fertilizer dilution rates at the start compared to the end of the irrigation cycle unless you're injecting in water of the same fertilizer concentration. So again, just a few little things to consider, but this is why this one is so popular because it offers a lot of advantages at really reduced cost, especially for operations that have sufficient or excessive pressure.